Hi guys, welcome back. This week I'm going to share with you this delicious Trinidadian style corn pie. Thank you to Cabot Cheese for sponsoring this video. So today I'm going to share with you this delicious, delectable dish that if you're a corn lover and even if you're not, you're absolutely going to love it. And it's super duper simple. The first thing you're going to do is melt half a stick of butter in a pan and then we're going to saute some onions and red bell pepper. I'm using just red peppers, but you can use red and green peppers or any combination that you prefer. Now that the peppers and onions have softened, I am going to add milk. Now I'm using whole milk, but you can also use evaporated milk. I'm going to give it a good stir and let this come to a boil. If you're not familiar with carrots, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. Now this company is a cooperative owned by farm families throughout New England and New York and 100% of the profits go back to the farmers. As you can see, there's a wide variety to choose from and all the cheddar cheeses are naturally lactose free. I'm going to use the habanero cheddar because it has that heat that complements the sweetness of the corn and the red peppers. Now that the milk has come to a boil, I'm going to add the cornmeal. Now this is fine cornmeal that I'm using. And you want to do this slowly in parts. As you can see, I am stirring in between each addition. Doing it this way is going to ensure that you're not going to have any lumps in your pie. Next, I'm going to add cream corn and frozen corn kernels. You can use frozen or canned corn, just be sure to drain any excess liquid. Next, I'm going to add salt and freshly ground black pepper. There's something about the flavor of black pepper and corn that I absolutely love. The first time I had this dish was a few years ago when I took a trip to Trinidad and I fell in love. It was literally love at first bite. Next, I'm going to add one beaten egg. And as you can see, I'm adding a little at a time and stirring in between each addition. We're doing this because we do not want the egg to cook or scramble. So just a little at a time. This is not something that you want to rush. And now comes the exciting part, which is adding the cheese. Now I'm adding about half a cup of cheese and this is more than enough because this cheese has such big bold flavor that you're definitely going to get that kick. You're going to get the heat from the habanero. So this is just the perfect amount. Now I'm adding the mixture to a greased baking dish. Doesn't that look good? Just look at the way it cascades into the dish and be sure to scrape that pan. You want every single bit. I'm going to use the back of my spoon to flatten it just so it's even. And I'm going to do this just before sprinkling it with even more cheese and then popping it into an oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees. I love the simplicity of this dish and it would make a great side at a Sunday dinner or even for holidays. Now I'm going to pop it into the oven and let it bake for about 30 to 35 minutes and then allow it to cool before cutting into it. And that's all there is to it. It is done. I'm telling you, you're absolutely gonna love this. The sweetness from the corn and the spiciness from the habanero cheddar cheese is the perfect balance between heat and sweet. Now this makes about six generous servings. And if you're like myself, you're gonna want a big piece. Now doesn't that look amazing? The recipe will be in the description box below and thank you to Cabot for sponsoring this video.
If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.